I also have the goal to embrace being a night owl. Okay, <laughs> this might seem kind of strange, but. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mallory, an American military wife living in Germany. Every week I get on here and share with you guys what it's like living overseas with the military. And I bring you the good and the bad. I try not to sugarcoat it, but I try to bring things to you in an insightful way so that you really know what it's like living here. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to go hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss any other videos. And today's video is going to be about my 2019 goals and dreams. If you missed the last video, go check it out in the cards up above. It's about my 2018 year in review, just kind of looking at what 2018 was like for us. So in the comments below, make sure to leave uh, me a comment on what your 2018, sorry, 2019 goals and dreams are. All right, so just a little quick thing about how I plan my goals. Normally my husband and I sit down and plan out our goals for the year and sometimes even like go really far out, like five to 10 years down the road. We use a large easel with this huge paper and colorful markers and we plan out our lives together. And it's a really great way to bond and just see where the other is at in our goals so that we're not like in a silo. It's not like I have my goals and he has his goals and we're not communicating. We really let each other know what we want to accomplish and it's, it's really gratifying to do that. Um, another thing I do is divide my goals into professional and to personal goals. So, you know, personal goals are going to be very different than professional. So you want to just keep those separate, but you know, some things may uh, cross over. Also this year when I was planning our goals, I really made an effort to not put anything down um, as an outcome that I can't control. So, you know, I didn't say I want to make X amount of dollars with my YouTube channel or my business this month because ultimately I can't really control that, especially because I don't really have a, I'm still very small. And so I don't have anything to base that goal on. So I really tried to make my goals things that I have control over. And then the outcome is the outcome, you know, and then you adjust as you go and you as, and as you find out what the outcome is. Okay, so let's jump into the goals. First, I'm going to share with you my professional goals. So my first professional goal is to reach 1000 subscribers. Now I know that this goal is kind of an outcome and I can't totally control it, but I can control how often I post, the quality of my videos and all of those things that matter. And so I want to reach 1000 subscribers at least because I want to be able to monetize. Um, you can't monetize your YouTube channel until you hit 1000 subs. So I'm at um, nearing 600 right now. And so that's really exciting. So a thousand is not that far away. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to meet that goal. Um, a second goal, professional goal is to open up an Etsy shop and start selling digital products, which hooray, I have done that already. If you didn't know, I have an Etsy shop where I'm selling my overseas PCS binder pages. And so if you want to purchase them, they're only $5.99 for 16 pages instant download, you can go check out the link in the description box. So that is a goal that I've already accomplished and I have one product for sale. So hopefully it'll turn into more. My third professional goal is to teach six to eight classes, five days a week, so Monday through Friday, with VIP Kid. And this kind of plays into my number one personal goal, which um, I will tell you in a minute. VIP Kid is a very predictable source of income because you teach lessons, you get paid, you don't teach lessons, you don't get paid. So that's like my quote day job. Um, and I wanna just keep doing that on a consistent basis. Another thing I need to do professionally is to do CEUs for my RN license. So that's continuing education units. I am licensed in the state of Texas and you have to do so many CEUs every two years. And so I need to get started on that and, you know, just advance my nursing career, even though I'm not currently working in a nurse job. And finally, uh, my last professional goal is to write a blog post for every YouTube video I make. This is some advice that was given to me from a, um, 
I guess you would call him a coach. I called into the Ken Coleman radio show. He does um, professional guidance counseling, I guess. Um, he basically helps people figure out what their purpose in life is. And so I called him asking him a question about entrepreneurship and his um, advice to me was to write a blog post for every video I make. And that way you have it in both written form and video form because everybody consumes content differently. Some people want to watch and listen and some people would rather read. And so that's just a way to get it out to more people. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be writing a blog post for every video. All right, onto personal goals. So my first personal goal, which ties into professional because it has to do with money, is to pay $1,500 to $2,000 extra per month on my student loans. That is quite a lot. That's in addition to the minimum, which is like $384 a month. Um, so using all of my income that I make to my student loans. I also want to exercise three to five times a week. I have been really bad about not exercising. It's just not, I don't really enjoy it. I also want to get eight hours of sleep a night. I definitely noticed that my mood tanks and my concentration and everything good tanks when I'm not sleeping enough. And so eight hours of sleep, eight, eight and a half even is like my sweet spot. So I need to do that. Along those same lines, I also have the goal to embrace being a night owl. Okay, <laughs> this might seem kind of strange, but I am a night owl. I hate getting up early, like any time before nine is just like not good for me. And I regularly go to bed between like midnight and 2 a.m. Research, chronobiology, it's so fascinating. Everyone has a different biological rhythm to their internal clock. And I just happen to be a night owl. And that doesn't mean I'm lazy. It doesn't mean I'll be less successful than people who get up early. It's just my body functions a little differently. So because right now where I am in life, I can control my schedule. Why not be proud of being a night owl and just embrace it? I don't have to get up early for a nursing job. I don't have to get up early to deal with kids. I'm in control of my schedule. And so that's something, mostly it's a mental thing and I've already started doing it and it's making a huge difference. I feel more productive because I'm not feeling guilty about not getting up at like seven or eight in the morning. Um, so that is huge. So if you're a night owl, let me know in the comments because I want to encourage you to just embrace you're a night owl. Um, another thing that I want to do personally is to expand my creative horizons and take art classes. I'm gonna start with watercolor um, because my mom's an artist and she said watercolor is the hardest to so start with that and <laughs> everything else will be easier. Uh, so I'm gonna start that and then also take the woodworking safety course at the uh, woodwork shop on post so that I can start creating woodworking things. I have several ideas already on what I want to make. And so that'll just be a way to like have a creative outlet. I really enjoy painting and it's very relaxing. So I'm going to be doing that for myself. Also, I want to visit my family for an extended visit, which I'm going to be doing very, very soon. Um, I'm going to be there for the birth of my first niece and goddaughter. So I'm super excited about doing that and spending time with my family. And finally, um, a joint personal goal with Mark is to travel to a new place every month. So this past month we went to Vienna, Austria, which was amazing. And I'm going to do a vlog on that. Uh, and so we have all these places that we want to go this year. And so I want to travel someplace different every month in February. We're going on a ski trip for the first time. We've never been skiing. So that'll be interesting. I also plan on doing a vlog on that. All right. So there you have it. I hope you found that interesting about what my professional and personal goals are. And maybe it gives you a little more of an insight into who I am as a person. Let's see, you learned that I'm a night owl and that, <laughs> um, I think that's the biggest thing that I shared is that I'm a night owl and that I don't like exercise. So <laughs> there you go. You learned more about me. Um, and again, leave a comment below with what you want to accomplish and in the year 2019. I'd love to hear it. And remember to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything else. 
Um, I appreciate all the likes and um, encouragement and subscribers. Um, it's just, it really, it really, every little bit helps. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.